I am Biz414. Welcome back to another episode of City Life. Last time on City Life, I had some misfortune and I lost a couple of a couple of tools that I really liked. I had a uh, Efficiency 5 Unbreaking 3 pickaxe named Soilsbane, and I also had a axe that was Efficiency 5 Unbreaking 3 named Woodsbane. And I had a Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 5, Fortune 3 pickaxe named Miner's Delight. And I lost them all in the nether. I have other tools that have the, the same exact enchantments, different names like Pick of Labor and Steam Pick, and Treasure Hunter's Pick, and the Pick of Richness. My woodman's... I, they, I only had one axe that was... Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, so that's probably the most important thing I lost. These other ones are Efficiency 4 and have other enchantments along with them. They're harder to repair because of that. So, I just I like having backups of these, because repairing these tools takes a long time. Grinding for the experience and stuff. So I like to have a few of them around. So, I'm going to fix that problem today. First off need to get our enchantments. Now I have tons and tons and tons of, of books, so it's not that big of a loss to lose some of that stuff, but it's still going to be a little bit of a tedium to to replace it. Let's see, Fortune 3. Alright, so we've got the books here for for Soil's Bane, or for Stone's Bane, the books here for Woods Bane, and then the books here for Miner's Delight. Now what I want to do is I want to combine these books like this so that I've got just one book that I have to put on each tool. Now these are going to be a little bit more expensive I believe. Yeah, 10 for that and then once that's combined I'll throw that on there and that'll make it a little bit more expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some bottles of o bottles o enchanting, which I've gotten from trading with a purple villager, a priest villager. And I'm going to throw them until I get up to level 10. Okay. And then combine our efficiency 5, and I'm breaking 3. Dun, dun, dun. And then I need 19 levels to combine those two books. So throw some more bottles. This isn't the most efficient way to get experience, by the way, but I like having this as an option when I'm just sitting here in my house instead of having to go to an actual experience farm to, to do it. Whoa! What's going on here? Oh, okay. Silly me. <laughs> I was very confused. Those are, those are the two books we wanted to combine. So 19 levels for that. Alright, let's put the experience bottles back. And now I need tools, which also I didn't realize at the time, but in that last episode I lost 12 diamonds. And I don't really have a ton of diamonds. I mean, this is 72, 73 diamonds. So, I mean, I guess it's a decent amount of diamonds, but I've also got a cache, a, a bunch of pickaxes stored up. So I'm going to grab a diamond axe, two diamond pickaxes. Okay. I've got those stored up again from trading with villagers. It's a great way to get tools. I'm going to have a quick sleep. And now we're going to take these tools and go enchant them. I'm gonna check real quick. Well, no, let's just let's just go. I got everything I need with me. Actually, let's grab let's grab our looting sword. It's a really good experience farm. Any old looting looting sword will do. We've got Adam Smasher, Diablo's Talon, Diablo's Fang, and just a regular old Smite Five looting sword. I'm just going to grab 
I'm gonna grab Diablo's Fang. Doesn't really matter. I just I'm not gonna be hitting anything with it. I just need the uh, I just want the looting three effect. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So many doors to open and close just to get up into my penthouse up there. Alright, let's run over here. Hmm. Gonna run over here underneath the 414 towers, over here by this lake. Big old lake over there. And I've got a experience farm down here. Get down there quicker. Alright. Pretty big structure here. I've got what I've got going on here is I've got three cave spider spawners that I found that were in close enough proximity that if I stand right here they're all active and making making little spider minions that come out and then I've got some water tunnels to divert them all to me with so like all the spiders that spawn in there get pushed out through this channel And uh, all of these guys over here come out through this channel. All these guys over here come out through this channel. And just so you can see, I'll hop up there. I've got this just covered, this glass covered with dirt. Because I don't have anything else to cover it with right now. Uh, I'm probably going to re redo these casings around the, the spawners at some point and I'll remove the windows. I thought it'd be cool to have them, but I don't know if that's going to work out, if the, the lighting that I have in the area around them will interfere with this, because it's got to be dark in there for those to be active. But each one of them looks the same, and I've got a switch that when I flip it, it turns off these lights and activates the spawners. And then they, once they get pushed, out and into these out of out of the boxes they travel through their little water tunnels here and uh, the ones from these two spawners over there get pushed down into this little hole and the ones from the spawner right there get pushed into this little hole and I've got one switch to do three things turn on the spawners open this trap door right here so that the spiders can fall down into this little kill chamber and also close this door so that I'm safe. So when I flip this one lever all of that happens and the wiring for it you can see I've got a torch tower here on the ceiling that goes up to these these uh, redstone lines right here that go to these pistons and when I flip the switch, it retracts that piston. So no more power to this redstone here. And the lights go off and the spawners become active. And then it also sends a, red, it also sends a redstone signal to this piston, which pushes a redstone block down. It sends a signal around to shut off, to close this door. And I don't have any stone or anything, any blocks to really show it well. but there's another redstone signal that goes oops goes back in here and I've got a hopper clock in there you can barely see it right there I've got a hopper clock in there with a comparator on it so that uh, if there's anything at all in this hopper right here it'll send a signal and open up that trap door down there so basically when I flip the switch I've got like over a stack of items in this hopper over there when I flip that switch they all start to travel into here and opens this up so even if there's one item in here this will stay open when there's more than a stack of items in here when I turn the switch back off those items start to go back into this other hopper and then this controls the door so you know as long as there's an item in there, 
door stays open. So it'll just it has to wait until that last item is out of there to to finally close that door. And the reason I did that is just I want to delay on the little trap door dealy so that when uh, so that I ha when I when I turn these spawners back off it gives the spiders a minute to make it the rest of the way down these long tubes and get into the kill chamber. And then the other bit of redstone I have on this lower shelf here is just basically a T flip flop and a uh, repeater chain to control the uh, the smasher the smasher piston arm so that we can bring the spiders down to only one one hit with a fist to, to kill them so we can get their experience pretty easily. It's pretty effective since there's three spawners running at the same time I can get really good mob spawn rates. Uh, I've got it. It's very precise though as far as where I have to stand. I've got to be about right there. Like with my, where my uh, X and Y is of the point three five to eight or so. If I go too far, like like even a little bit that way or in any direction, one of these spawners might not be working. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So, door closes. All the lights are off on the spawners and already you can hear we've got we've got cave spiders coming down the tubes. And uh, the trap door down there is open so they can fall down into the little kill chamber down there. And I I just I basically just now I just stand here and I wait and uh, acquire enough spiders to to enchant to add my enchantments to these. I probably should have checked to see how many levels I need to do it, but it's okay. I'll just I, I mean basically I can stand here for 20 minutes or so, and I'll get about five to six hundred spiders, give or take. I mean maybe more. And then if I kill all of them all at once, I get enough experience to go all the way up to level 30, from 0 to 30, about three times. So, I'm going to take a little break here. And when I come back, I will have a buttload of spiders. So, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. During the break, I went down to my anvil downstairs over there and check these to see how much it would cost how much experience it would cost to add each you know each book to each tool and name each tool this one making a, a new miner's delight is going to cost me 35 levels this one a new a new stone's bane and a new wood's bane both are each going to be 22 so in the about maybe eight or nine minutes that I was gone, maybe ten, 232 spiders sitting down here. 232 spiders. I'm hoping that'll be enough once I kill them to get me up to uh, level 35 so I can name this one. If not, it'll at least be enough to get one of these two guys taken care of. So I'm going to switch off the system and again this one switch controls everything so when I flip it the door opens so I can get back out if I want. The uh, light turns on and there's a delay because of the hopper timer on the trap door down there so it'll wait a little while. I've got a little lamp there. It's an indicator of when that trap door is closed, so I just stand here and wait just a little bit longer. I take the F3 screen off so it stops being annoying for everyone, and uh, I wait for this light to come on, and when it comes on, I hop down there and take care of those spiders. There it is. It went on. And real quick, the reason that I wanted this door wired to this switch is because I didn't want to like walk away from here forgetting that this was on. Like sometimes, because it's loud, I'll have it muted 
I'll have them muted so you don't hear them. So it'd be real easy to leave this system on and walk away. And I mean, way up high, up above, up at ground level, is too far away for these to be active. But if I was working around down here in the under in the underworld a little bit and not paying attention, I could have a problem where I'd have hundreds of these guys and tons of lag and stuff like that. So that's why I wanted that wired up to all of this. And I just wanted it all on one switch because I think that's cool. So now I go down here, and as you can see, about a billion of these guys. We grab a potion of farming. And I'm going to turn their volume down a little bit because they're really, really loud. But I still want to hear them die, so I'm not going to turn it all the way off. Alright, so the thing with the looting enchantment, you obviously get it when you kill a spider. With you know, kill something with it, you get the enchant the you get the benefit of the enchantment, but you also get the benefit of the enchantment. If I throw this potion of harming at them and then switch to this before the potion of harming hits them, or right when it hits them, the looting effect will also be applied. So it's real good for experienced farms. With this, the only thing it's gonna really do, it's gonna get me tons of spider eyes, which I've got more spider eyes than a guy could ever need. So I just pretty much leave those to despawn, throw them away. Uh, but I do want the string, because I turn the string into wool that I can then trade to villagers. So that's why I like to use the looting sword here. It's a little pointless in, in a way, just because all it gives me is extra string, but I really want that extra string. So down here, I didn't really show this area yet. Down here we've got potion brewing set up, and it's just real simple. I just, just a assembly line, nether wart, and then the spider eye turns it into poison, and then the fermented spider eye turns it into a potion of harming, and then a gunpowder turns the potion of harming into an instant damage potion. And then I just got some water bottles and potions, infinite water source, full enchanting set up, and then a bunch of bunch of anvils. And uh, I've got three buttons here. These two buttons, which I am not going to press right now, retract these fences so that the experience and drops that are caught above the fence fall down. And then this is the smasher, which we're going to push right now. And then these pistons come out and push all, smash all these guys just long enough to make it so only one punch, one punch will kill them. But I don't want to sit here and do this for forever. I'll get tired. So we just do this. Now hopefully this doesn't lag out too much when I do it. We'll see. One, two, three. Look at all the string. With all the experience. And I can't see. Get out of my head. And then I push I push this little button there and it opens that and any experience or drops that are caught above there will drop out. Alright, and then I'm gonna come over here, get into the anvil, and get ready, because as soon as it hits level 35, if it hits level 35 which it looks like it might. We're still going strong at 25 levels. I want to be ready with this so that I can do what I gotta do and get it out of there and get the next one in. So I don't waste any experience because the experience uh, builds kind of uh, exponentially. So the higher your level, the longer it takes to get to the next level. It's pretty standard practice in any RPG. Almost there. 34. Just a little bit more. 35. Then we've got a new miner's delight. And that was perfect. One more level after that. Doesn't get any better than that. And then, as you can see, I've only got one little spider trapped above there. Without that hopper timer on this on this trap door here there would have been like a dozen guys sitting on top of there and I wouldn't have been able to make it to level 35 just now. So, so that's how it works and it's pretty awesome. That's how I've been getting all, you know, doing all my tool repairing and getting all my enchanted books. 
uh, many you know I would sometimes I'll just sit here while I'm watching TV or YouTube or whatever sit here for like 20 minutes get you know watch an episode of something get 600 spiders kill them and rinse and repeat and then I can you know every 20 minutes get three level 30 enchanted books which is pretty good it's a pretty good rate I mean not as good as like a an enderman farm in the in the end or something like that but uh, still pretty pretty awesome and it's right underneath of my town so it's got that convenience factor of being just right there I don't have to travel to the end or or anything like that to, to do what I gotta do to, to fix my tools I can just real quick come down here as you've seen just come down here spend like 10 minutes and have a brand new super efficient tool I mean obviously there's a lot of prep involved to get all the books so I have you know that that uh, inventory of them already available but still still pretty pretty quick uh, pretty convenient so I'm going to do these other two tools and it should I, I mean I should only have to stand here for like another 10 maybe 15 minutes to get enough spiders here I'll get another 250 or 300 spiders here something like that and uh, that should be enough to get up to level 22 twice and get stones bane and woods bane uh, restored I should have named it 2.0. I should it should have been Miner's Delight 2.0, and uh, maybe I'll do that for these guys. They can be Stones Bane 2.0 and Trees Bane 2.0. So I'm gonna get into position right about there. That's good enough. Just turn everything on, and I'll be here waiting. I'd. I'd do a time lapse, but there's nothing to see. Nothing to see here. It would just be me standing here like this, watching spiders go bloop, 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 bloop. Not fun. Not fun at all. So I'll take another little break, and I'll be back in about 10 minutes for me. Two seconds for you. Be right back. All right. I'm back. And spider spawner's been doing its work back up to 235 entities down there if you don't know what I'm looking at it's the top left of the screen right here right now I'm looking at three entities which is probably some slimes or maybe even some spiders that are in the chamber working their way down uh, and then the other and then on the other side of the slash this 878 that's total entities in the area so that's including that's including the all the villagers in the village in the town that's including all of my livestock my cows and chickens and pigs over in the mountain over there everything nearby so it's just the, the total and then the on this side is what you're looking at so right now up to 250 so I'm gonna switch this back off and again, just, just going to stand here and wait for that to, to turn on so that I know that it's safe to go down. I don't need that anymore. Waiting and waiting. And as you can see, I've got a, I've got a zombie spawner over there. I'm going to set up a mob trap around it. My plan is, is for down here underneath of the town to have all, all of my machinery like this. I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a passive mob farm as well, you know, one where it's, uh, one, one that is, uh, all of the different mobs just spawning in a dark pad. I've got a lot of area already lit up around here, so it'll be relatively easy to set something like that up. Eventually, maybe a gold farm and stuff. We will see, but for right now, this is the main, the main thing down here. Alright, so... What I do is I hit the potion, I throw the potion, and then I hit the number two, so it switches to the second slot in my inventory real fast. So ready? One, two, three. That one. That time I got myself a little bit. Ooh, 
We got a few guys still alive in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Dang it! Dang it! Man. Alright, well. What happened was, I hit the. Frickin' glass block with my super efficient pickaxe instead of my fist because of all the lag from all of those guys and I died because I set them free <sighs> and lost all of that experience and I can't get down here because of the lag man and the out the door I don't know why I'm lagged so much right now. I don't know if those those guys are probably just swarming down there. Like, I might have to stop recording to take care of this. Man, my frame rates are so slow right now. So slow. And on the bright side, they should still only take one punch to kill him. But I oh, can't believe that happened. It looks like they all despawned at least. So there's that bit of good news. Make some wool. I'm gonna try and cover. Can't even see. Try and cover this hole up. Does that stop you? Okay. Alright. You are stones. Stoner stones. Bane. 2.0. Done. Done. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough experience now to get this guy back up. So I took so long naming it. I'll probably be just short. Just short. I need two more experience. Well, that was quite a hiccup. Um, <laughs> did not expect that to happen at all, obviously. I do have some glass up here stored up that I, so I can fix that real quick and uh, it wasn't a total loss I mean at least all of the experience that I had there didn't despawn luckily the few spiders that were in there disappeared that was awesome to not have to fight them when I got back down here oh man pretty sure I have some glass down here anyway. yes one glass block. Then we can fix that and get the last two. You know what? I might be able to get the last two experience I need from this stupid slime over here and not even have to turn that contraption back on. Can I? Can I get two more levels out of you? Probably not. There's another one over there. This is a slime chunk too down here, by the way. So I could do a slime farm down here. I just I basically want to have all kinds of mob farms down here, experience farms and whatnot down here, like a secret lair or something. All right, that's level 21. And a quarter. I will have to turn the system on for just a second. 
just get a couple more little guys. Double check and make sure I have everything. Yeah, I have everything that I lost. Alright. Go down here. Fix this thing real quick. Alright, now. It goes right there. Get rid of that. Put. Well, I lost a button. Oh, I'll have to remember that for next time. I gotta come down here with another button. The water washed away my buttons. I don't have any stone with me. Hmm. Alright, clear out my inventory again. Spider eyes go away. Put this back here. Get this ready. Why do I... Oh, yeah. I forgot. I was like, why do I have three swords? And I remembered. My misfortune again. Alright. Put this wool back. I don't really need it in my life right now. I still have more spider eyes. Alright. There. I'll just go on and... Go up here and flip this on just for a minute, just for a second. Just I just need enough to get that one last level to get this axe finished, and that is it. I'm leaving this place. It's pretty good though. Even I mean, as long as you don't touch the glass with with something that has efficiency five on it, you're probably fine. Just don't do that. And then it's a it's a good it's a good system. It is hard to find uh, three spawners close enough together like this, though. I will say that I got pretty lucky in that regard. It's a pretty good location, this town, with with having the this abandoned mine shaft underneath of it. There's a few underground ravines under here that are pretty cool. There's uh, the end portal is that way a little bit. So there's a a little fortress over there. It's a pretty good location. But it's extreme hills this biome, but it was generated a long time ago. In like 1.2 or something before emeralds spawned down here. Alright, smash these guys up. And I'm not gonna throw a potion at them or anything. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fist them. Punch them. and I used that over here, but never mind. Just jump, 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 jump. See, this is what you have to do if you don't have that button there to open it up. Alright, level 23. That's enough to get you taken care of. And we have Woods Bane 2.0. There we go. So that's three awesome picks it took me like 30 minutes you know, with this with this setup and uh, I, w I would have been able to do both of those tools all at once if I wouldn't have had that incident with this glass block here and the death and stuff I would have been able to get both of them fixed I would have done stones bane real quick and then brought myself back down to zero and threw this back in that that two levels of difference is would have, would have been made up if I would have got that tool in there ex and out of there exactly when I hit level 22 instead of uh, like level 26 or 27 or whatever I was when I finally enchanted this. So I wonder how much it would be to add 2.0 to this. 39. Nope. You'll just be Miner's Delight. We'll, we'll know that you're just the second generation version of it. So that about does it for me today, I believe. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.